Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today we are looking back on one of our best ever games on YouTube. That is right, we're looking at our 35 kill solo vs squad game. We're going to go through it, we're going to break down each moment. As I can remember, we might be a bit here and there with it, but we're going to break it down as I remember in each gunfight, what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, how things go. Now, this is a 35 kill game. One of the things about 35 high kill games in PUBG, there's a lot of luck involved. But at the same time, there's a bit of skill with every gunfight what's going through my head. So we're going to jump straight into it. Let's have a little look. Uh, we're going to have our little intro here. We're going to skip through here and there. Hey, Nacho. How are we doing? The Ultra Gold Monster. Um, if you watched my last video on this, landings again. My landings, I don't care about them. I don't care about them. Now, this is an already edited video as well. So I've got to be careful what we go through. But um, I believe we saw uh, someone land early on. So we've got our DBS quickly. We've got our EMT, two gear. We're ready to go straight away. We're going to try and get some information on our people as quickly as we can. So we hear the guy here immediately. We just sort of push for him. He doesn't really know what's happening. This is a, a newish player. Sort of looking around for him right now. We get shot at. We immediately here. We go for the first stage straight away. Um, EMT lets you feel go to full health immediately, um, which is OP gear for solo squads. Like guaranteed OP gear. I'm thinking about the first then, but this guy's in a good position. We're just giving him a little TPP. Watch him what he does. Right there, if you guys don't know, the DBS, how the DBS works, if you look down here. Um, you can only have two shells loaded at a time. If it shows one blank, that means you've only got one shell. So it means you can't go bang, bang. You have to go bang, reload. Like, put, you know, put, 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 pump it back up again, basically. So that is why we shoot that random bullet there. So we have both the bullets ready if we go into our next fight. This guy's trying to nade Molly. We're just sort of sitting here waiting. We're using our ears. Boom, we spotted him. We run to his side. He tried to Molly us. Um, yeah, this guy sort of just runs in the Molly. So we just go for the full hit fire. We, we go for the full hit fire spray. Um, he was going to go for the Molly, probably to block and go for the res at the same time. But he ran in the fire. I don't know what happened there, but there you go. GG. Uh, that is our first gunfight done. Not too much to it. We got our two gear. We got our shotgun. We pushed. We heard one. We just waited for the other guy to make a mistake, which he ran into his own fire. It happens. It happens. Right, Nacho. What happens next? Now, we heard shots down this way. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drive. Um, right here, we spot the guy immediately. Now, the quality is a bit thingy because we are looking at YouTube here, but the guy is right here straight away. Um... So, as in Nacho fashion, we're just going to try and run, 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 <laughs> run me over. Oh, dear. Um, we pull up instead because I think I'm going to kill myself. What we make sure we do here, though, is we pull up. We have the car lined here. Have the car so it's cover. So, when we jump out, we're up on this side. We've got a little bit of cover. You can shoot over the back of the car, the front, wherever. Go for a little jump shot if we need to. So, it's just a bit of a safety pull up in the end there. We don't try and run him over. We pull up here. The car goes a bit further, but we know we've got the shotgun. We spot the guy here. You can see immediately this guy goes for the full push. We're ready for it. We've got a shotgun. We're just going to try and use that hip fire spray with the shotty to try and follow him. Line up. Bang, bang. Because he's pushed us so quickly. So that's why we go for the double bang there, which I normally say not to do. But because he's come out in the open and we need to get him dead immediately, it's just bang, bang. Um, there's no control over it just because he is in the open. I'm in the open. We have no cover. We're going to pick this guy up. We're going to take him for a little Nacho run. Um, we're going to try and use him as bait. We, we heard shots down here earlier, so I thought he was fighting someone. We're going to try and use him as a little bit of bait. Just going to carry him on our back for a little bit of time. Go for a little listen. Here, we're trying to use the DBS just to try and scare whoever the other player is. Try and make him a little bit nervous when pushing the shotgun. Confuse him what's going on. Um, we can hear him, though. We know the layout of buildings as well, so... Heard him go up on the roof. Boom. Find him. He didn't have his headset in. He didn't have his headset in, so... Just there, basically, we're using our audio. We hear him on the roof. And what we're doing, as you can see, as we go round the buildings, we're using our crosshair. We're trying to find him so we can track him quickly. And just boom, boom. This is the secret with the shotguns, is not aiming in. Not aiming in allows you to quickly swish along, have fluid movement compared to other guns. Uh, we spot a truck in the background there. But um, I think we go chasing it, but I, we, don't, we, we don't find it. So it, it's one of them things. One of them things. We don't find it. Right here, we hear some people. Um, a car, I believe. I believe we hear a car. Yep, we hear the car over here. And we're going to chase the car down. We're just going full natural right now. And we're just going to try and chase the uh, the car. 
Where are they off to, Nacho? Let's try and find them. So, first of all, our pull up here is important. We spot the car, pull into here. We want to have a bit of cover when we come up because if they try and rush to us, which I don't believe they don't, but if they do rush to us, we want the wall cover ready. Rather than pulling in towards them, we want that cover. And it sneezes. We don't see any of the push. We just go for the full push. We spot the guy, jump through the window. They don't seem to be reacted to us. So we're sort of just going to go for it. We spot this guy running away. So we're just trying to catch him as quickly as we possibly can. He turns around and we get lucky here. It was kind of a panic shot. But now we're trying to pick this guy up again so we can use him as body armor against this next enemy. Luckily, this enemy's a little bit slow. But um, let's see what happens here. Now, the animation is quite slow to pick someone up. So I'm trying to shoot as we pick him up just because I can't move left or right just yet. But then we're going to push to the right. I believe, did we just get the knock, luckily? No, we didn't get the knock. But there you go. We push to the right, so we're in cover. And then we're going to come back again. Swish movement. He thinks we're trying to run away. We come back in time. Now, what lovely shotgun fights are a little bit more random. But we've got the guy on our back trying to bait him in, use him as armor. This guy we get kind of lucky with at the same time. Doesn't manage to kill us. We manage to get to the right, bait him a bit. So he pushes himself down again. We walk back into it. Bang, bang. Um, let's have a little look what else goes on here. Boom, boom. As the DBS likes to say. Now, we hear someone else upstairs, so we're trying to be a little bit patient here. I need to med up, so what I'm going to do right now is um, close the door, drop the guy directly in front of the door. So if the guy tries to open the door, um, his teammate is blocking it. He does go for a bit of a crawl, but it's fine. We hear the guy upstairs not moving. Now, we hear a grenade being ready. Now, the stun goes off, so as soon as that stun goes off, we want to go for the push. We know he's trying to, trying to do it right now. We're trying to find him. Now, I believe... Okay, we still don't see him. This guy's a little bit nervous. He should know we're coming, though. And we hear him behind us. They go crouching in, not up there. Managed to get the kill. Luckily, he's just crouching toward us. He's trying to play sneaky because we went past the door. So as we go up the building, so breaching buildings is very, very hard. But the way I try and do it is I try and be as fast as I possibly can. So instead of just like slowly going up trying to peek, I go up fast and they don't expect it. So if I suddenly pull up to this door, bang. Okay, I'm ready to shoot instantly as I see them. As I get past, the, even if they are in that door... If they try and shoot me, they're, they're holding the door. They're, they're holding the door angle. And as they go to shoot me at the door angle, I've already gone up the next stairs. So that I'm, I might lose a bit of health. But also, remember, I've got a teammate on my back. And um, they're also going to have a little bit of a struggle just trying to get me. If they're just hard peeking that or hard TPP in it and I come up slowly, they just see me. They see me come up and they go boom, boom, boom. It's all about being fast and swish. You go up, you quickly, you don't really, you don't really stop. That is the way you push these buildings with a shotgun. You don't stop moving. If you stop, you give them a chance to spot you in TPP and get you. Coffee and PUBG. So this one is, this this is a kind of wild play. So we're driving up here. Uh, what I'm going to try and do here is flip up here and land. There's a uh, front edge in the sky shotgun down on them the car flips a bit too much and we get unlucky here but this is the play here is i know i can flip up here i want to try and shotgun these guys i can hear shooting on this roof as i rotate around yep unfortunately i don't get them um here this guy doesn't hear me or i'm not too sure what happened did he not see me we just go for the shots managed to get him down right so now this is an important part i don't want this guy to live he might have a self-res but now we've got to remember this guy was shooting at these guys. So we now know immediately that there's a whole other team probably surrounding the whole area of the map. So we've got a team up here and a team which could be absolutely anywhere else. Um, let's clear that and let's continue to see what happens. We go for the first just in case this guy's got a self res. I'm right people are on that far left side of the wall. So I want to try and get myself into a little bit of cover and try and get as much information as I can. Main thing is ears. I'm listening. I know this team's up here. And okay, we hear a shot. So we know this team is fighting a team directly here. But, and because we know the layout of the map, we kind of know that there's two walls they're holding. And there's like a step as well. They're probably there. This makes it a difficult push for either team. I want to kill this team though. I want to push in. I want to make it a nasty habit and just try and get myself in. They're very focused right now. AED. Cheeky, cheeky bugger. Always... Right there, if you didn't hear, Nacho said he can't push because of the third party, even though I'm the third party. But what we're going to do is we're going to... There you go. We're going to use the smoke grenade here to block their view so we could go for this push, which I believe this team is not expecting. And boom, we go for the push. Bang, bang, bang. They are just not ready for it. Once again, with the shotgun, no aiming in, no over the shoulder. We want that fluid movement where we can go left and right, right and left, without uh, slowing down our character, which um, works really well here as we'll watch again right now. You can see, boom, 
Boom, boom. I'm just in and out. I'm in and out like I'm playing a game of, of, of boxing. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here, we're kind of stuck for a bit. We're trying to get information on how many people we're dealing with. We spot the one on the left. We spot the one on the right. We're just waiting a bit, but I believe this team retreats out of this situation. So we're kind of lucky. The players always waiting for players to make mistakes in solo squads. So I want them to push me now. So when they come up, bang, bang, I can take them on. But um, these guys are kind of smart. Rather than taking on the shotgun, they're going to go for that. I'm going to flow a flash where they're kind of peeking their biggest peak spot just so they can try and get away a bit but they didn't push these guys before i'm not expecting them to push me now i'm gonna do a little bit of looting we hear another vehicle coming in as well and this other team doesn't seem to be shooting me right now now we've got another team pull up now now we hey guys <laughs> now we know our threat so we know this is our main spot here which is our biggest threat because they can shoot from here uh this is the only place i'm right about because everywhere else around me i can hear i can hear right now so I'm thinking maybe, right, they're not peeking right now. I can try and get some extra kills on the left, guys. We spot that guy there again. We don't see him go anywhere. We can hear the car leaving, so we go for these kills. Double tap him. DBS is our monster. See ya. Now we're just going to leave this guy up, use him as bait. We saw, the, we saw the two pull up. There's his teammate. Terrible callouts from him. Wait for him to push out. Boom. We know only two people pulled up because they're on a bike. We can just go first these guys out. One of them might have a self-res. We don't get one of them getting rezzed again. There's always counting how many players in an area on solo squads. I don't know if any of them had a self-res, but um, we know they only came in on a bike. So once again, two people. Oh dear, Nacho. Oh dear. 54 left. Let's have a look. So now we're driving into our big boy compound. This is where we get a bunch of kills in this compound. So it gets kind of stressful. Now, uh, I'm not too sure where I spot the body when I came down. But obviously I do. Uh, we're going to try and get ourselves into cover straight away. Try and get ourselves in the middle. When we've got the shotgun, we want as many walls to walk around as possible. So we can keep the walls close. So we can go in and out and make ourselves a smaller target. If we stop on like the outside of the wall... They could come from the left or right and we're screwed. If we're in the middle, they kind of have to put themselves at an angle where the shotgun should be okay. We spot a lot of blue zones. This comes down to a lot of audio here. Another car pulling in as well. Here, the first guy. Go for the jump shot. DBS, shotgun's great for jump shotting. Now, we're hearing more footsteps, so I'm backing up. We, we see that nade. It takes down the guy we were shooting, I believe. So we don't have to worry about him as much. Now, we're just playing our time here. We're waiting. There's lots of people around. There's lots of shooting. Try and get this down for now. See? I, I remember. We're just waiting. So now, like, you can push out, but we're just taking information. We want them to get super busy. We're waiting for someone to go, kind of go down near us. And we hear another footstep running across. Boom, jump shot. Once again, getting lucky with that. The DBS, the movement, boom. Getting the first. Don't want him getting self rest Or even rest himself. You know, we want to try and make as many people as possible. We can see a bunch of people pushing over the right. We're right about the back here. Full hit fire. Movement again. Lucky, jo lovely, jubbly. Now, this guy's kind of uh, in a really good spot, and it's a pain in the butt. I can't really shoot him from here properly through uh, this window. So we're going to have to rotate back left again. And I've got the DBS, but I've got to be fluid when going out the door. If we get stuck and kind of slow on the door, he's going to laser us. So it's very important that we have fluid movement as we go out of this door, I believe. Get a couple of tags, which we hope will back him up a bit. Go for the TBP. The smooth movement out. Back, left, right again. And there you go. Now we've got the EMT. The EMT, EMT heal comes in now we hear shots while we're fighting this we hear shots on the top right we know they're on that side of the hill still we see where the nades are the nades is where we're taking information believing that other people are there on tiago you want to get your kills if you're destined you want to get your kills because they might have self reses So now we hear that very distracted with the guy on the top right. Whoever's using that LMG right now. He's making a lot of noise. So luckily for us, we can kind of like push up a little. Because we know he's keen to keeping people busy. While we're just going around being a sneaky snake. Looking back that shotgun again. <laughs> going to get reloaded. We can see there's the guy I was talking about with his LMG. We just saw he just got a down as well. Uh, sounds like we hear people again. Random game ever, Necho. Heard this guy here. Boom. Now, this is a tight one. We both have EMTs, but the shotgun can jump shot over these walls, which is really strong. So, all I'm trying to do, jump up, boom, down, because I can go in and out as quickly as I can. 
I'm trying to get as close to the wall as well because all I need is a little tag. So we can get close to that wall with the shotgun. It's hard for him to shoot me because I'm not in the open. And also, uh, I'm close to the wall. So when I pop a bang, it's in and out, in and out type action. Right here, you see, we can get him. Get on there. He's panicking. He gets stolen, though, unfortunately. He gets stolen across the, uh, the map from that guy. Now, we have to remember that guy is over there now with his mini. Now, I believe we hear someone running here. So we're going to try and get ourselves in. We don't hit anyone close to us. The LMG guy stops shooting. Luckily, we spot that nade. Now, we're going to go for the push on this guy. Now, we, hear, we see this guy. We go for the jump shot. But then this guy sprints at us. We get lucky and get the double slam on him. Now, we can see this guy's actually taking shots from the right. So, in my mind, I'm registering that there's someone. You could, we could obviously see this guy. But this guy is also getting shot at. So that means there's someone else here at minimum. So we want to turn a quick right and see if there's anyone else in this corner. Rather than shoot this guy, I believe. Well, hopefully that's what I do. I haven't watched this in time. So hopefully that is what I do. Now, we go for the guy over there. That's probably bad priority. But we saw he was getting away. The guy who was like in this section over here. But um, luckily, this guy, he's the Grozer guy. You see in the kill feed, he just killed that other guy. That was our LMG boy from before. We can just turn and luckily go for the shots on him. The nade gets us there, so we are now weak. What we need to do is we need to retreat all the way up, back round, and try and get a heal on. Because we, we got hit hard then. We got hit very hard by a random nade. Now, the LMG boy, there's another LMG boy. So we can get around here. We can use the cover. EMT, quick heal. There we go. There's the mini boy again taking the shots. Now, we ignore that guy because he was kind of slow. So this is kind of a weird one. I'm take, taking knowledge of my ammo situation right now. I've got four bullets. I This guy had an opportunity to kill me. And I could tell immediately he was not worth the shots. He shot once with the mini. He didn't laser me. He is not an experienced player, but I know I want to get background there and stop all them revives happening. That is the important part to me right now. So instead of taking the shots onto this guy who is not much of a threat, I'm going to push around the wall. I've got cover. I can go for these guys and then this guy might push me afterwards, but we'll have to see what happens. Not bothered about that guy. So there's the guy. Don't go for the first four shells in a dream. We don't want the res coming in. Now, we hear someone self resin I'm not too sure who that is. Managed to get the jump shot on that one. That was our uh, other slower guy from before. Managed to get him in the back there. Didn't have to waste the bullets on him. But now we are out of ammo. We've still got our downs there. There's still lots of teams. I'm going to pull up my pound because I'm a madman. I'm going to try and pick up any gun we can here. I pick up some sevens, but not the gun. As I'm still trying to back up away right now. And luckily in here, we find um, some shells. What the hell is going on? We drop, them, we drop the uh, bullets again and keep the DBS. Because it's an insane game right now. What is going on right now, Nacho? So now we're just sort of waiting, looking for a bit of ammo. Take a little bit of a deep breath. But we're still hearing the fights going on. So spot this guy on the right. We don't want to chase all the way after him, I believe. But um, we actually might do. Okay, yes. Yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, This is kind of a mishap from me right now. Like This isn't the best push in the world. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of this to keep myself in cover. I believe that mini guy we killed before was the one who was across the road. We haven't had any more shoot in. But um, we can hear him. He's over in this direction still. He's probably heard us now. We're expecting him to peek from here. We're going to keep our TP -p 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 on him as we rotate ourselves all the way around. Now, this is a mental game. So, this isn't normal. So, uh, I must def most definitely hear him in this vicinity. I probably think he's going to peek from here. But uh, in the end, I know he peeks from here. But we'll see how I react to this. I spot his foot there for a millisecond, for a millisecond. We can see his arm right now, and you can see immediately what I'm doing is I'm lining up this middle with where I think he's going to peek straight away, and that is the whole goal of the shotgun. Don't aim in. You just put yourself where your crosshair can be seen and be ready for that target. Left and right movement, trying to dodge again. Boom, 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 trying to predict where he's going to go. There we go. Manages to strafe straight into my shotgun where I'm expecting him to go. 23 kills right now. There you go. I can't push because the hill boys. The hill boys have a super a superior ed glitch. Got free kill there. Lovely jubbly. I believe that guy's been down for like 12 days now. 12 days that guy's been sitting there waiting to be firsted. 
So, lock of the shotgun back again. We've done that a lot this game, which I don't actually normally do. I normally leave it, but because of how intense the game is, um, we don't go for it. Spot the guy looting in here. Go for the shots. Unfortunately, that is a bit far for the DBS. I bet you he's one shot, though. Wasted a lot of shells on that kill. It was a tough one. It's a tough one. No, he's weak, though, so kind of go for the kind of go, 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 go for the push here. The guy's going to start using smoke grenades, so he's going to make this a little bit of a hassle. I'm kind of believing. I believe in my head right now. So earlier we had the boys on top of the, the hill, which is like behind here, like kind of like this. I still, I believe this is the guy that walked down from there, but I think the hill guy is still up there on a different team. Um, it's a very confusing situation, but the reason I get aggressive and I hold this wall is because I believe that guy's pushed down. He's on the other side. I've got the shotgun. I'm in an advantage when I'm closer now. Let's have a little look. Spot him on the car there. So I de I definitely think that guy is there. It's definitely a difficult push because he's got a bit of a head glitch. I've got to hit my shots perfectly. Looks like he's going to go for a grenade. It was a flashbang. So we backed all the way up. We saw the flash in his hand. We backed up away. You can see here I'm using a lot of TPP for information. Well, information, but still moving. Not trying to stay in a TPP position for too long. If I sit for some too long, someone else might spot me. Trying to stay on the move. Keep my feet moving and keep going. He's good at this smoke, which now allows me to push a bit closer to him. We're going to go for the left and right movement again. Trying to play it like a little bit weirdly once again. Now, I believe they're all dead now. I believe everyone has, has gone. And then the LMG boy starts shooting us in the back again. I immediately go for the heal and the smoke just in case he takes a random headshot. Luckily, we get away with them. I'm like, are you sitting the whole time? You're in the bush, boy. Boy, why are you in the bush? We need some shoddy shells by the seashore. So that's 10 times quick. Once again, trying to keep an eye on my ammo, trying to find some. I'm not the best at ammo. We do see the crate in the background, but I'm loving our loadout right now. A free helmet would be nice, but crates mean death most of the time in solo squads, so I suggest not going to crates. Uh, the blue is coming, so what we're doing is we're keeping an eye on our map. So luckily this game, we haven't had to move because of the things, but we're keeping an eye on our map. This is the zone. This is where the player in the bottom right of the screen is here. The player has to kind of get down. Now, I don't believe he's just going to run across here because it's in the open. I believe he'll try and push himself down, get himself in, get himself across because that's where the most cover is. That's what I would do. Now, not always the players aren't always going to read into your book how you think they are, but um, I'm just believing he doesn't, doesn't know I'm still here. I'm going to wait till he pushes in and get that extra free kill. If I wait because the blue has to push in, look where the cover is. There's no cover here. This is kind of a dangerous zone. He doesn't want to push there. Um, he kind of has to push into this compound. Unless he believes I'm in here with a shotgun, he might push all the way around. Then it lets him open for any other teams if they're about. So this is kind of a waiting game. And we're kind of looking for a car as well. But we're going to wait for this guy just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Do we have the six times on this? When did I switch to the six times? I didn't even see it. You could kind of use whatever on the six uh, shotgun. It's got to be that. Ooh, right, this one is very lucky. Um, if we have a look back, I don't even hear him in the replay, but we just catch him. I think I don't think I even hear him, I just see him. So here is one of the, the shotgun moves that I kind of go for. So most times you turn around and shoot, but I immediately go for a sprint left, and then I'm gonna rotate back right quickly with a so a mini sprint to so then straight right. So this is gonna just gonna put that accuracy off. When you're shooting, someone's shooting you with an assault rifle, they kind of shoot in the same place and they try and track you. But the random movements really puts them off. And I believe that's what we go for here. There you go. You can see that exactly what we do. Luckily, we hit our shots as well with the hip fire once again. But the random movements puts them off. So sprint left super fast for only a second. So their first aim is off where they're aiming. And then they try and track you. And then you've gone right again. And that's really gonna confuse them. That allows for that kill there. How many kills do I said we get this game? 35? We're still waiting for uh, Blue Boy. Um, just a crazy kill. Just a crazy kill. Hi, Mackenzie. How you doing? Welcome to YouTube twice, buddy. YouTube twice. <laughs> going to put a boost on. We're going to run in the blue. It's phase four, so you can kind of run. Phase five is kind of the... You're done. Phase four is okay. And we've, luckily, we've got this vehicle, which has lost a wheel. See, we lose a little chunk of health here, but we still can rotate into this safe part with the buildings. We haven't heard anyone here before. There might be someone here, but we're okay here driving in. We just got to take our time, get ourselves healed up, and we we are fine. Fuck life. <laughs> There's a million cars for us, so we know we're fine. We don't hear anyone. All about sound. 
We also got free armor. I didn't see when we picked it up. Um, I, I guess we got it off one of the, the, the guy who pushed. The guy who pushed around the corner. So for this part of the map, we just drove over to here. There was no one here. We didn't have to fight them. But we do have a team pushing in over this way. So this is our biggest threat right now. We've kind of got this dip. We're kind of safe. We do get annoyed by someone sniping across the map. We've just got to try and keep moving so he doesn't get us too often. This guy, first guy, pushes up close. We go over the top. Boom, boom. We want to try and get him dead. Get back down. Once again, hip fire. No way, man in. Try and get the shots. Get back into cover. Straight back down into cover. We need to try and get more information where people are. We saw the guy far away. We know at least one of them is far away. They start smoking to try and save their teammate, but I want the smoke so I can push into it and be more annoying. I'm also going to throw smokes now. To be even more annoying. So I can actually push into them. And do what the enemy don't expect. Now the thing is PUBG is. The better players are always trying to read what you're going to do. So immediately my play is. Um, these guys. They're going to push for their teammate. They're going to try and save them. Two are going to stay further back. Try and help over the top. I can smoke their POV. Because they're further back. I can push over once this other guy gets close. Um, and I believe that's what we do. So let's have a little look what happens. I believe a nade's going to come in. Does come in. See? Always nades. They always throw nades. This guy pushes for the kill. We could pop over the top again. Now, we have enough smokes out here, and we could go for the push. Now, the fact this guy has pushed in probably means that the guy in the smoke doesn't have an AED. This guy might do, though. So, we want to try and get this guy out. The other one's not too bad. Not too uh, thingy. 28 kills right now. Got to go back. Reload. Here, these guys shooting someone else across the map. So, this is when we go. We push now. They are distracted. Push through the smoke. We see him close. Boom. Down. Looking for the second player straight immediately. We know we've got one left first, so no self is in. Good silence. Thank, uh, Silius, thank you for the follow. Getting sniped across the map. We've got the AD. We hear the nade come in. We don't hear him, though, in his footsteps, so we're fine. The two-second heal coming in clutch. All we're doing is listen for information. Luckily, he misses his shots. Puts himself in the blue. Going to go for the shots there. Boom, pick up, down. We've now got five alive, ladies and gentlemen. Five alive. This game has all been the same though. All about that movement with the shotgun. Down into cover. Out again. Down into cover. Trying to read where people are. Ooh, it's an intense game. It's an intense game. So here we're going to rotate into the zone. We've got five alive. Four people alive. But they have been they have been fighting. So we are going to push slowly into the zone here. And we're going to use the car. Vehicle meta is really strong in this game. So here what we're doing. We're just driving around the zone. Um, sort of staying in. So we look, we're literally hiding, just driving around, using the cover. Until someone pushes close enough that we can take them. Now, it's very hard to shoot people out of the cars, but it's kind of risky as well. We know a guy's going to push in from this field. So waiting for him to push in the field, we're using the car as kind of bait. Nobody likes to shoot them when they're the last kind of guys left. Nobody wants to push into it. So we're just driving around till we see a mistake. Spot the guy pushing in. We want to get this guy dead. We know this guy's a solo. Once again, far left movement. Boom, boom. Down they go. Now we're in a 1v3 situation. Now these guys are going to start getting aggressive here. We spot the one guy on the rock early on. Don't know if you guys spotted him. He was on the top right of the rock. We're trying to look for as many as we can. Um, now we immediately, looking at this circle, we know that the players are all... Pretend this is the circle right here. This is us here. These players were all kind of in this area. And we immediately know they're going to spread out. We saw the guy over there. So we think they're going to go... Kind of like this and try and come on us. Luckily, we've got this rock for cover. So what we're going to do is rotate back to the rock and try and take out the left guy. And then hopefully these two both push the right side together, which gives us a bit of distance. Luckily, straight away, this left guy has. And we, we know he's going to push around the left. And we need to get one down early on. If we let two push at the same time, we are done. We are done. Let's see what happens here. Left guy starts pushing. We don't hear anyone else. We can just keep holding this. We'll let him get closer. Pretend we don't see him. Boom. Spot him. Go for the random movement again. Take him down. Go for the heal. Try and get information on the others as quickly as possible. Got to go for the first because of the self res is on this map. Not hearing the other guys though. So if we're not hearing the other guys, that means they have to be in that dip we saw on the right side. There's nowhere else for them to really be. So we're expecting them to be along this line right now. We've already had a little scout and they haven't helped their teammate out straight away. They've got this line. We're guessing they're somewhere over here. We're trying to work out exactly where they are.
Won't be here. The launcher gives us information. We're still looking for one more player. We're now going to rotate very far right again. So we believe right now, I believe that on this line, we haven't seen any in this scenario. We've got a rock over here. If we push ourselves around this way to here, we should have a line of sight on everyone in this area. We don't see the other guys peeking us, so we're okay for right now. This is a dangerous move. If one was just prone and they could have popped up the second I moved. We could use the bushes as cover. They're actually really hard to see through at the end of the game. So we got a random snake guy down here. Um, takes me a second to actually... It's not, I don't even see him. I wait till he, sh he has to shoot first. Go for the random hip fires. We actually aim in here because the DBS is terrible. The other guy instantly comes for us. That's what we're going to be ready for. Back to the left and right movement. Woo! And there we go. So the last scenario there, this is one of them hard ones in a 1v2 situation. What do you got to expect? As soon as you down this guy, you can't relax for a second. You immediately got to search for the other guy. And we're thinking he's in this area here because we haven't seen him. We know he's not behind us. He hasn't on our left. We saw that earlier. So we're immediately strafing around the second we get that kill and looking for information. Spot him on our left, straight away, go for the left look. Straight into the left and right movement. The bobbin, the boxing mode with the shotgun. You know how it is. The boxing mode, left, right. Don't let them get their aim on. It makes it very hard for everyone. And boom. That is the 35 kill chicken dinner. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the 35 kill chicken dinner breakdown from Game of Nacho. The most things we have to take from that is the left and right strafing movement with the shotguns. The reloading the DPS on the fly with the shooting it so it's always pumped back. The ammo at the bottom. Remember that one. And also, your ears are the most important. Working out where enemies are. Being ready to lock on. And you guys have got it. Guys, hope you have enjoyed this breakdown of this 35 kill game. Uh, we'll have another one very soon next week. If you've got a video you want to send in, please let me know. Uh, send a message down below in the YouTube comments saying, I've got a video and I will message you back. I'll send you a Discord link. You can get your clip over to me. And we can have a little breakdown of your clip, what I think you should do better, or what what we well, should already doing them right. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, till the next one. Thank you thank so you much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. But do you want to help support me even more for free? Then all you have to do is use my creator code for PUBG. The creator code is a simple way to help support your favorite content creators when you purchase items in PUBG for free and they get a percentage. All you have to do is head over to accounts.pubg.com. Log in or create an account. Once you've logged into your account, make sure your gaming platform is linked to your account, the PlayStation, Steam, or Xbox account. Then all you have to do is head down to Create Our Appreciation Program and type in the box Gaming Nacho and then click Submit. This helps support us huge, so thank you to every single person that uses our creator code. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll catch you next time.